month of October is considered worldwide as the month of empowering women through spreading breast cancer awareness. And here in the UAE, Zuleika Hospital is doing a wonderful job by spreading breast cancer awareness through its Pink It Now campaign. We have Dr. Pamela Munster and Dr. Hanis Bitani from Zuleika Hospital who will tell us more about this campaign. We welcome you to Z Connect Season 6. So we start with you, Dr. Pamela. Tell us a bit more about the Pink It Now campaign. The campaign is meant for women to learn about breast cancer and the risk of breast cancer. What we're really trying to get at is to, to tell all women that breast cancer, when detected early, is treated very easily. So what we really want to get out is like that we can do mammograms and we can do early detection self-exams to prevent breast cancer from becoming a serious problem. So what are the main causes of breast cancer? How does it even begin? So the main reason for breast cancer is, is family history or genetic mutation, but other reasons, uh, of course, are also can predispose someone to breast cancer. One of these reasons is, um, is uh, not having children, having, going into getting your periods early in life, having your periods until late at life, being exposed to hormonal therapy, having excess weight or not doing exercise, drinking alcohol. These are main causes for breast cancer. So you believe uh, having like a healthy diet definitely could be one of the ways that you can prevent uh, breast cancer? Definitely uh, focusing on a low fat diet and, and a balanced diet and particularly more exercise. And that is a really an important message to give in the UAE that women really need to exercise. So um, what are actually the symptoms of breast cancer? So somebody who is not yet diagnosed with it but might be having it, how do they really find out if they might be having breast cancer? Now hopefully we diagnose breast cancer early before it makes symptoms. So typically that would mean a breast cancer being found on a mammogram or a, an ultrasound or an MRI. But when breast cancer becomes bigger, the breast can be red, the breast cancer can manifest itself as a lump, it can make skin changes, it can change the form or contour of the breast, invert the nipple, all early and late warning signs of breast cancer. So are women of all ages uh, you know, at a risk of getting breast cancer or it is a, a certain age group and above which there is a higher risk? Breast cancer is more commonly seen in, in older women. However, it is really important to know that uh, no one is ever too young to have breast cancer. And that, that's particularly if, if you have someone who is 35 who presents with a lump. She's not too young to have breast cancer. It's really important if you're 35 and you have a lump that you should seek medical attention. So what are generally the main age groups that uh, you're targeting via this campaign? With the campaign, we really want to target every age group. We want to get women in their later years to come for a mammogram. We want younger women to do breast self-exam, but really we want to address every woman. Every woman is at risk for breast cancer, even if it's more common in an older woman. So we would move over to you, Dr. Hani. What really happens when you're diagnosed with breast cancer? So when a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer, she will generally then have an appointment or seek consultation with a, a breast cancer specialist, an oncologist. And the oncologist can guide that woman as to the potential need for what treatments may be necessary to treat the breast cancer. Whether it's uh, through chemotherapy, through radiation therapy, or potentially through surgery. So in order to do a test, uh, you said there, there should be a mammogram done. What exactly is a mammogram? So a mammogram is essentially an x-ray of the breast and it's how we screen for breast cancer and how we detect breast cancer in many women. Uh, and it's a test that at least in the United States and certainly here in the Emirates we recommend that women obtain once a year uh, as a way for looking at the inside of the breast with one or two different x-ray views and making sure that there's nothing abnormal in the breast and making sure that the breast is healthy. Is it, is it like a painful test? It, it, it's not the most comfortable test that a woman will undergo. The breast is slightly compressed. And how often should women do a mammogram test? We recommend that women obtain mammograms once a year, so annually. So Dr. Pamela, what is Zuleika Hospital actually offering as part of this Pink It Now campaign? 
Pinky now, the goal for us is to bring women towards uh, early detection and early screening. And what we like to do is we like to do breast exams, mammography, and really raising awareness. And the way we do this, we're going to give mammograms and exams free until the end of December, so for the rest of the year. So in case someone is going under a chemotherapy, what are generally the kind of experiences a person needs to be prepared for, for doing a chemotherapy? So chemotherapy used to be really harsh and uh, most women would lose their hair, would get sick and get really tired. Fortunately now, probably half of the women with breast cancer don't need chemotherapy anymore. And the newer chemotherapies that we have are much better tolerated. But I want to never ever tell someone it's going to be easy because most women who have gone through chemotherapy say this is one of the hardest things they've ever done. So chemotherapy is not easy. So the goal of the campaign really is to detect cancer early so we don't have to have chemotherapy. Uh, if a person is going through different treatments, what are these different treatments that are available for breast cancer? Sure, so generally there's two types of treatment uh, that we can offer for breast cancer. One is uh, medical treatment through certain chemotherapy drugs, uh, potentially, or through radiation, and the other is surgical treatment. So either partial or whole removal of the breast tissue. Uh, chemotherapy is sometimes used early on in treatment of breast cancer uh, to shrink a breast tumor. Uh, in many cases, we can make breast tumors smaller with chemotherapy. The benefit of doing that is that potentially then, if surgery is still required, it can be a smaller surgery because now we're dealing with a smaller tumor. Uh, as far as surgery goes, we can either perform a lumpectomy, which is removal of only part of the breast, the specific area of the breast cancer, and thus leave the remainder of the breast behind. Uh, the other surgical treatment would be mastectomy, where all of the breast tissue is removed and then the breast uh, is thus no longer there and can be reconstructed and a new breast can then be made for the patient. So it generally depends from a case-to-case -case basis? It depends on case-to-case -case basis. It depends on the patient's preference for which treatment she would like to undergo in many cases because in many, many times it, it comes down to an issue of uh, breast cosmesis after surgery. Um, and we can guide patients and give them our opinions on as to which treatments are best and then ultimately the, the, the woman can make the decision herself. Definitely if, if somebody reaches that level and has to undergo a chemotherapy there would be certain side effects of that, right? One of which you mentioned is losing hair. One of it is losing hair, one of it is feeling nauseated, uh, losing appetite, uh, vomiting feeling really tired, so a lot of side effects. Uh, some women have nail changes. What role does a family play in, in reviving a patient of breast cancer? How important are family and friends? Well, family is important uh, always, right? But I think in um, friends and families are probably less important in good times. Friends and families are more important in bad times. And I think from every step, from the diagnosis, going to the doctors, going through surgery, like being there, um, having someone to talk to is, is really crucial. And I think uh, I let you answer this. I mean, women really come with their friends to surgery for discussion and like, uh, if you want to add some. Yeah, there's no question. Family support is crucial for women going through breast cancer treatment. We know from our experience that Women who have a strong support system, most commonly from family and friends, are those that, that go through this journey uh, the best and are able to best tolerate it. Um, we encourage all our patients to uh, have their family join them through their consultations uh, on the day of their chemotherapy, on the day of their surgery, because it, it really makes this whole experience so much easier for, for women when they are faced with it. Great. Anything you both would like to add? Any message for our viewers? I'd just like to add again our, our key message throughout the entire Pink It Now campaign, which is get a screening mammogram. Whether you're young, you're older, um, make sure that your breasts are healthy. Um, and the benefit, and understand just the benefit of routine screening. In those instances when unfortunately breast cancer is detected, for women who get routine mammograms, it's detected earlier and it's much easier to treat and it's less likely to affect your life long term. And, and for me, of course, the message is like, you know, none of us would have thought 
I could have breast cancer. I did not think I would have breast cancer, but then, you know, you're just not, uh, not spared. So you, you can never be certain it's not you. Great, thank you so much. This indeed was a very informative session. Thank you for being on our show.